Hello, I'm Maury Reese. This is the next in a series of YouTubes that I have put up to teach people how to do things with their Yamaha PSR E463 keyboard. Nice little beginner's keyboard, only cost about $300. It runs on batteries if you want to take it out to the beach where you have no electricity. Here's my issue. My favorite instrument is the pipe organ. The pipe organ is, without a doubt, the most complex, most powerful instrument ever created by man. A great pipe organ can have 10, 20, 30, up to 33,000 pipes. A great pipe organ can take 5 to 10 years to build. And a great pipe organ can cost in excess of $50 million. And it has over 1 million pieces. There's no instrument in the world that compares to the complexity and the power of a pipe organ. My little keyboard has a pipe organ. Uh, let me play it for you. It's okay, but it has been my privilege to travel the world, and I have been in some of the great cathedrals all around the world. And I have heard some of the greatest pipe organs in the world. Unfortunately, that little pipe organ just doesn't sound anything like what I know a real pipe organ sounds like. So I've set out to try to get a a richer, fuller sounding pipe organ on this little keyboard. And here's the trick that I've come up with. And by the way, I didn't originate this. I stole this idea from a lot of other people. What if I took two organs and combined them together into a single organ? And that's what I figured out how to do. There is a pipe organ in here. But there's also some church organs. So I'm taking the pipe organ and one of those church organs and I'm blending them together to create an organ that sounds more like a true pipe organ should. So this is the pipe organ. And this is in my voice. So I pressed the voice button and I dialed in 032 and I called up the pipe organ. But there's another mode in here called dual. And what dual is, is it is a second voice that plays along with whatever voice you've selected. For example, let me set this up as a piano. But now I'm going to turn on a dual voice, and the dual voice happens to be violin strings. So I've reached out and I pressed the dual button. So now every time I press a key, you hear the piano, but you also hear the strings. So that's what a dual voice does. It lets me play two instruments for every key that I pressed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the pipe organ and then I'm going to set up a dual voice. And the dual voice is another organ. It happens to be called a church organ that is also installed in here. After I've got the two voices, I'm going to go in and I'm going to tweak. I'm going to change the settings on each one of those voices. And there's nine or ten things that I need to change on each voice. And what I'm trying to do is to get this thing to sound like a pipe organ in a big cathedral. Okay? So next I'm going to show you how I go in, set up the two organs, and then I'll take you step by step through all of the changes that I make to each of the organs. 
And then finally, I'll play my pipe organ. So once again, here's what I've got now. That's my pipe organ. I think we can do better. Okay, let's go start playing with the control. All right, now we're ready to start setting up the keyboard to sound like a great pipe organ. The first thing we need to do is set the main voice to pipe organ. So I'm reaching down and I'm pressing the voice button. And now using the rotary wheel, I'm going to dial in number 32. And I'm looking right here. Looking right here, and I'm looking for 32. There it is, pipe organ. So I have set the main voice of the keyboard to be the pipe organ. Now the next thing I want to do is set the dual voice. And to do that, I reach out and I press and hold the dual button. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select voice number 381. 381. So I just have to start dialing away 200, 300. I'm turning the dial wheel. I'm looking for 381. Getting close. There it is. Church Organ 2. So now I have set the dual voice to church organ two, and the main voice is set to the pipe organ, number 32. So far, so good. I've got the two voices set. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to go in and change nine different things about each one of those organ voices. And to do that, I reach out to the function button and I tap it twice. Click, click. And then using the category buttons, I'm going to back down to number 11. And I see it right here. M volume. This is the volume of the main voice, which is my pipe organ. Now I'm going to dial that up to 127. That's full volume. So I've just set the volume of the pipe organ to 127. That's as high as it goes. Now I'm going to tap the category button to the right and go to number 12. This tells me what octave do I want the pipe organ to play. And I'm going to dial it up to number one. I've just raised the pipe organ one entire octave. I'm hitting the category button to the next item, and this is the pan. Pan tells me, do I want the music to come out of my left headphones or my right headphones? I can move where the music is coming from. And I'm going to dial this up to, oh, I know, about 90. What I've done is I have moved the sound over to the right. So the pipe organ is going to come a little more out of my right ear on my headphones than my left. Okay? I'm hitting category to the next category. This is the reverberation. Reverberation of the pipe organ. And I want as much as I can get, so I'm going to dial that all the way up to 127. And I'm going to hit category next. This is chorus. Chorus kind of fleshes out. It, it makes the instrument sound uh, richer, fuller. If it were a voice, it's the difference between a solo singer and a choir. So I'm going to dial in a lot of chorus. I'm going to put it to 
let's see, about 110 is what I've decided sounds good, okay? 110 on the chorus. I'm hitting category to the next one. This is attack. This tells me when I press the key, how long does it take the keyboard to come up to full volume? The default is 64. I'm not going to mess with that. I don't want to get into attack and release and cut off. That's techy geeky stuff. And uh, you and I don't need to worry about that. Trust me, just leave it at the default 64. I'm pressing the category to the next one, and this is release. What this says is when I let go of the key, how long does it take for the sound to decay away? Once again, I don't want this to be techy, geeky. Let's just leave it at 64 and be done with it. That's what the default is. The next category is called cutoff. And once again, this is a very technical musical thing. I don't really care much about it. That's not the purpose of this video. I'm just going to leave it set at 64. That's the default. The next category, I'm, I'm hitting the category button again, is resonance. I, I want this thing to have a lot of resonance. So with my dial wheel, I'm going to dial in once again about 110 on the resonance. Okay? So I've set all the settings that I need to do on the main pipe organ voice, the main voice. Now when I hit the category button, I am now going to start working on the church organ settings and I'm hitting category one more time and the first thing is what is the volume of the dual voice see the D volume this is dual voice volume and once again with my dial wheel I've cranked it up all the way I want that thing to be as loud as I can hitting the category button now it wants to know what octave on the keyboard do you want the church organ to play and I'm going to dial this down minus one I'm taking the entire keyboard and moving it down one complete octave I'm hitting the category button for the next one and this is the pan now in the on the main organ voice I had that pan 85 which moved it to the right I'm going to dial this the opposite direction. I'm going to put this at 45. So I'm moving this sound to the left. More of the sound will come out of my left headphone than my right. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm physically separating these two organs as, as though they were not sitting side by side. I'm hitting the next category, which is reverb. And I want all of the reverberation I can get. So I'm going to leave that at 127. Lots of reverb. The next category, click, is chorus. And once again, I want lots of chorus in this. So I'm going to dial it all the way up to 115. There we go. 115 on the chorus. The next category, and I'm touching the category button, is attack and once again I'm not gonna mess with it I'm gonna leave it alone at 64 category next is release I'm not gonna mess with that I'm going to leave it at 64 next category click is the cutoff and once again I'm not gonna mess with that I'm going to leave that at 64 next category resonance and I want a lot of resonance in this instrument. So I'm going to dial that up to, oh, how about 115? Okay. So I've now set all of the settings for the dual voice, which is that church organ. There's one more thing I want to set, and that is the overall reverberation. I want this to sound like we are in a large cathedral. And so I need to go to setting number 35, and I'm looking right here. It's on 29, so I'm hitting the category 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. I'm sorry, I said 35. It's 36. Oops, went too far. 
Here we are. Reverb. Now, I played around with these, and I have figured out that what I want is called cathedral. And there it is. I just used my dial wheel, and I dialed up cathedral. So, I'm done. I have set the main voice as a pipe organ. I've gone in and set the volume and the pan and the reverb and the chorus and uh, the resonance. Then I went and I set the dual voice to church organ. And once again, I went in and changed the octave and the pan, the reverb and the chorus and the, the resonance. And then finally, I set the overall reverberation to sound like we are in a cathedral. So that's how I'm setting up my keyboard. So every time I press a key on the keyboard, I'm playing two instruments. I'm playing the pipe organ and I'm playing the church organ. But as you've just seen, they have totally different settings. But when they merge together, I'm going to get this wonderful sound of a big, rich, full, robust pipe organ playing in a large cathedral with lots of reverberation. Let's go try it out. All right, we're ready to begin to listen to this pipe organ that I've created. So in review, what I've done is I've set up two voices. In the main voice, I've set up pipe organ number 032 in the voices selection. And in the dual voice, I've set up church organ two, which is number 381 in the voices. So I have two organs. And then I went through and I set up the octave, the pan, the reverb, the chorus, the attack, the release, the cutoff, and the resonance on each one of those instruments. I took the pipe organ and I raised it up one octave and I took the church organ and I raised it down one octave. So when I play a note, it's going to play both organs, but they are two octaves apart. Okay? So, I'm ready to let you hear this thing. So I've got a pipe organ. What song should I play that shows off a pipe organ? You know, I think there's only one song that comes to mind. It's a song that millions of people all over the earth, they know the song when they hear it. They don't know the name of it, but they know the song. And the minute they hear it, they think Phantom of the Opera. It actually has nothing to do with that musical, but there was a movie back in the 1930s, and that's why they think it. So here is box, toccata, and fugue in D minor. Now, unfortunately, when I was a young boy, I didn't practice my piano lessons, so I can't really play this song. I play everything I've done by ear. So I'm going to just give you an approximation of the toccata and fugue in D minor. Here's my abbreviated version of it. Imagine that you are in a huge cathedral somewhere in Europe, maybe Notre Dame in Paris, and it's dark, and you're all alone, and you hear this.
bad. This is a little $300 keyboard, a Yamaha E463. I mean, it runs on batteries, six AA batteries if I want to take it out to the beach. I think that's pretty amazing that this little tiny 14 pound keyboard can make a sound like that. Now, I have on very good, very expensive headphones. I can hear what this thing is doing. Unfortunately, if you're watching this on your iPhone or your iPad or your desktop or laptop computer, your speakers are not going to do justice to what I've just heard in here. If you had $1,000 headphones or you have five or $10,000 speakers, then you'll be able to hear what just came out of this keyboard. So trust me, how about another classic song that uh, begs to be played by a pipe organ? organ on a Yamaha PSR E463 using two organs, the pipe organ and the church organ too, combined together with lots of reverb, setting the resonance and the reverb for a cathedral hall. Not bad for a little keyboard. I hope this has been helpful. I hope it plants an idea in your head that by playing around with a voice and a dual voice, you might be able to create some very interesting instruments. I know I'm going to experiment some more. And if I happen to come up with an instrument that I think is worth your attention, I'll make another video. In the meantime, if you enjoy these videos that I'm putting together, leave me a comment. Be well, and thank you for watching.